Hello, vlog people. I am in Barry, and it is hot in the car. Woo! Cold outside, hot in the car. So I just finished doing the funnel cake fries from Burger King. There's something with their oil, man. I swear to God. I swear something's up with that oil that they use at Burger King. I'm not sure. I'd love to know from a Burger King employee what oil they use where they get the oil and then ask the same thing of of mcdonald's and anybody else that uses deep frying things because there is something funky going on at burger king and their funnel fries or on and their deep fried shit sorry i swore all right uh putting these away light one off uh, on Wednesday, Carl came, and Carl's the guy who I edit for, for his fishing television show, and we've wrapped up yesterday the last episode of crap, X Crappy Kings, X Crappy, no, just X Crappy, uh, <laughs> that's what it's called, um, it just found, sounds funny, like X Crappy, like I'm ex-wife or something, that's what it's ringing in my, my brain, um, yeah, I gotta fly the drone before I go. Um, 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 a lot of ums. It is hot. That's all I'm saying. Right. Now I remember. So Wednesday, Carl came over to, f to edit show six and it snowed like all day. By the time we were done, there was at least a foot of snow in my area. And I just couldn't believe how much snow fell. It's the most snow we've had in one and one downfall, I guess you can say. Uh, and then yesterday, Carl came back. We f started and finished show seven. All done with Carl's stuff. Everything has been sent to the networks. I've been set. Everything's been sent to the closed captioning person. And uh, so we are 100% wrapped with Carl at the moment. Um, so all next week. Uh, I have meetings and things that are happening and, and I was trying to get Paul to come with me to go to Rochester because somebody wants me to go to this pizza place and try the, the pickle pizza and uh, I didn't want to do it by myself so I wanted Paul to come with me and so he's going to be coming and it'll be fun but he can't do it next week so we have to wait until I come back from Cuba because I have one week and then I go to um, Japan, and I'm, I'm actually going to be going, flying into Tokyo, I kind of wish I had flown into the other airport, there's another airport north of Tokyo, so I didn't have to get through Tokyo, but uh, I got to land in Tokyo, get to, I'll probably stay over in Tokyo one night, and then from there I'm jumping on the bullet train, heading north, I should do a live show on this tonight, see if Paul's available, Paul from Critically is Japan. But I want to go north to the North Island. Uh, there's an amazing um, downhill skiing place, and I want to, I want to go to Japan and snowboard in Japan. I thought it would be freaking awesome. And it's in a town that's just south of Sapporo, and Sapporo makes one of my favorite Japanese beers. One of my favorite Japanese beers is Sapporo, or as, as, uh, Aka, I always I can't remember the other one. If I see the word, I can say it better than me just winging it off the top of my head. Asahi, maybe. All right, let's get this drone flying and then I can get out of here. Done flying the drone. I'm using baby drone. Baby socks drone. That's not his real name. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to do drone stuff a little bit more. Now that I know it's not 100%. 
illegal to fly as long as you obey the rules. I don't need a license because of the size and weight of my drone. So you guys can look it up yourself if you like. But that job is done. Uh, I'm just making sure I'm all used to it because I'm gonna try to bring it with me to Cuba. I didn't. I was. I was. I was. I was scared. I was scared last year to bring it to Cuba because there was a guy that flew his really close to. Uh, he was in Havana and flew his drone very close to the government buildings, and they thought he was a spy and spent 13 days in prison. <laughs> in Cuba, not a great place to spend your vacation in prison in Cuba. That's my controller, and your phone fits in there. These things unscrew. And they fit right into the handle right there, which is awesome. Keeps them out of the way. Then that everything just folds down. My antenna is kind of wonky because it's like you put it up and then it sips over all by itself. And that's not good. The the drone I had before, if I could pair the old controller to this newer drone, uh, then that would be good because it actually seemed to work better. All right, let's go home. I just went and got water. The water depot is right over there. And I haven't been to Williams in a very, very long time. And uh, let's, let's, let's grab a double-double. And see, see if it's as good as it used to be. It's probably exactly the same. Great day, Williams. How may I help you? Hi, can I get a large double-double, please? A large double-double? Yes, please. Okay. And that's it. Thank you. Okay, my first issue with that is that it's 265. I could have had a Tim Hortons for two dollars. Oh, it better be damn good. Hang on. So just to give you guys a quick heads up, I just went to uh, Honda, Barry Honda. 265. Yes, sir. I'll give you that coffee. Thank you. You got the right team on. That's for sure. I definitely have the right team on. Yeah. Although they had a bad night last night. Last night. <laughs> I seen, uh, the night before was awesome. Yeah. Last night sucked. Yeah, I felt so bad for Tavares. Yeah. You see all the stuff they chucked at him? Yes, the snakes and stuff. Yeah, they and chucked at the snakes, the plastic snakes, and his old jerseys out. And they, they were burning his jerseys outside the, the That's stadium. Insane. They're like $100 and they're burning jerseys. I know. It's, Get over it. Yeah, get over it. Nine. He, he gave you nine years. Now he's going to give us the next best nine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Your guys' eyes. <laughs> yes, right. Have a great evening, sir. Yeah, you too, eh? Yeah. Well, that was nice. A little chit chat at the ta at the window at the table at the uh, window. So, like I was saying, I went to uh, Barry Honda to look at our new cars because Carol's lease is up on her car. And uh, we need to uh, look into either buying that car out and keeping it as is, or buying the car out, selling it, because we went over by like 10,000 kilometers over the lease. So they want us to pay like $1,200 in over mileage charges, and um, which we knew was going to possibly happen we had like the 24,000 kilometer a year package uh, for the five years so it's a hundred if you stay under that then then you don't owe any money but this only happens if we give them the car back then they'll take that money away from the price of the car and that will bring the whatever so if, if we buy it out I'm gonna have to find out what how much it's gonna cost to buy out the car and if it's let's say twelve thousand dollars, and we can sell it for fifteen, then we'll do that. 
uh, if it's if I won't be able to sell it for 15 or whatever then we'll just may possibly trade it in for another car and the new one I was looking at was freaking awesome but I don't know if I want to do another lease because I, I do have the the means to just buy it uh, through the line of credit against my house for a very low interest rate and that might be our best option because leasing I don't know I'm, I'm not I don't I'm not fully educated and leases and how if they're good or they're bad or but the lease on the new car was he worked it all out it was five hundred and forty dollars a month I don't want to pay five hundred dollars five hundred and forty dollars a month for a lease if that was the payment of the car excellent I'm in but anyway you guys are pretty smart you figured out for me <laughs> I've got to do a quick taste test of the Williams coffee first off the tab doesn't work, so you tip it over and it's supposed to snap into the lid, but it doesn't snap into the lid. Now I got this little Hitler flap. You see what I mean? Hitler flap. Oh, it is good coffee. It really is. I, I should, I'm gonna, next time I go to Williams, I'm gonna ask for uh, the large one cream, two or, th sorry, one sugar, two or three cream or milk or whatever. The good news, I haven't had uh, sugar in my coffee at home for a week and a half. Yeah, thumbs up, Pat Ken on the back. Mm -hmm.